Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Witch Lady, and I'd first like to apologize for not being around for so long. I know by the time this video gets posted, it will probably be towards the end of April, uh, which means it's been about four months since I've done any filming. But in that time, obviously I've moved house and still in the middle of trying to get everything set up. So as you can see, I've got a bit of a setup behind me and things, but uh, yeah, so I do apologize about that. So today I wanted to talk to you about different methods of cleansing a space or a house. As you know, I've just moved, so I kind of wanted to do a video on like house cleansings uh, in general. So the first method of cleansing a home uh, that I wish to speak about is smudging. So I think when a lot of you think of house blessings and things like that, you probably think of the go-to uh, sort of smudge sticks uh, that you burn. So the smoke used from a white sage bundle will be, you know, wafted around, as I say, with a feather and, or, you know, even with your own hand, that's fine. That's used to protect the home and, you know, protect from sort of any negativity, uh, you know, anything sort of bad that you don't want in your home. So as I say, smudging, you know, that is a great way for sort of blessing and cleansing and purifying a home and um, basically starting afresh and uh, making sure that all the negativity is out and, you know, you keep the positivity in and you keep yourself and your home protected. So another thing that you can use uh, to cleanse your home is a broom. So basically the broom represents the goddess and the god, and I've explained that in the previous video as well. So it represents the goddess and the god in union. And so with a broom, you'll basically be sweeping out not only like sort of physical dirt and muck or anything like that but you'll also be cleansing your home spiritually so you know you go around your home go around each room and just sort of sweep away that negativity and basically things that you don't want in your home and things that you don't want in your life you know spiritually as it were so yeah a broom is another great one so another thing that you can use is actually crystals. So I've done this in the past when a house that I was living in, there was a few odd things happening. So I used some hematite basically and put it where in the corner of the house where I thought the sort of negativity was going on. So I just placed that there in the corner of the house at the time just to sort of protect and clear away any negative energy. Um, but before you do anything like that, it is important to charge crystals. So you can leave crystals out sort of in the full moonlight as it were. So what I do is I would place them on my windowsill the very night before the full moon then the night of the full moon and then the night afterwards so those three nights over that time i'd be charging my crystals um but also you can use a selenite uh, bowl which i have i think i've shown you that before when i bought one i've shown you uh, in a haul video that uh, yeah i had a selenite bowl and you can just place your crystals in there and um yeah and they will charge so i mean for me i would probably do the best of both both worlds and uh, put the crystals that I want to use to, to protect my home into the selenite bowl you know and over those three nights when the moon is at its fullest. Another thing that you can use to protect your home and get rid of any negativity is salt. Now salt has been used for thousands of years for cleansing and for purifying and for sort of protecting. Salt absorbs any sort of negativity and it holds on to it. So it's used to purify, cleanse and protect sort of any boundaries of your space or your home, wherever you are. So salt then returns itself and any sort of energy back into the earth once the ritual is complete. So uh, as I say, it's one that I've used in the past and I know it's like a go-to for a lot of people to use salt because it is really easy to get hold of.
So another thing that you can do to purify and cleanse um, a space or a home is to charge water by the moonlight by, as I say, those three nights, you know, over a full moon, just uh, place water in a bottle or a bowl and just place it in the moonlight for those three nights. Um, or you could make sun water. You do the same thing, but place the bottle or the bowl in the sun and, you know, the water gets charged in that way. It's that way of creating like blessed water, as it were. Um, and also another way going back to salt is putting salt in the water. It, you know, cleans and purifies the water and, you know, makes it blessed. When I've done anything like that, say if I've used water to protect, you know, and sort of cleanse the space, I would go, I would basically dip my fingers in the water and then just go across the door frame. Um, yeah, so basically I would do that across the door frames. Um, you could sort of dip your fingers in and flick salt water everywhere, or you could put it into one of those uh, sprayer bottles uh, that you get at the hairdressers. <laughs> you could put it in that and spray about a bit. Um, I would avoid going anywhere near anything that's electrical or metal with that. So you'd have to be really careful. Um, I think the best thing to do if you are using water of any kind is just to sort of go along the top of the door frame or do a quick little sort of symbol of protection, whatever you want to do. The water doesn't mix with electrics and uh, any sort of salt water, I would say, uh, near metal, it would just end up making it go horrible and rusty. So yeah, just be careful and bear in, bear in mind that sort of thing. So the next method and the method that I'm probably going to use to bless and purify and cleanse my home is I'm going to use sound. So uh, <laughs> I think a lot of you have seen the video that I've done on witches bells. Uh, so I will be using bells, as I say, I got some from what's it called, witch casket which is like down here somewhere. I got a set of like black bells that they did and they are really gorgeous. So, um, you know, and I've really wanted to use them. So I think I'll be using uh, bells to sort of just go around my home, go around each room, um, you know, go around each corner of every room and just ring the bells. When you ring bells, it disperses any of that sort of negative energy any sort of horrible energies that you just don't want in your home that are obviously not going to serve you when you ring a bell it's it's creating those high vibrations and that is what negative energy does not like is the high vibrations from a bell so it's almost like the the higher pitched and i guess as loud as you can get a high pitch bell the better um, because I think there's a lot of negative energies that work on lower sort of um, deeper sort of frequencies as it were where sound are concerned so if you don't have any bells you can just clap you can use your hands clap you know to each corner um, as I say of the rooms in your house a singing bowl is great as well so you can use a singing bowl which you know I've got a couple of them now so they're really good Music and singing is also another good thing. So, you know, you can use that um, while you're doing your uh, cleansing ritual. You could just sort of go around, as I say, you could go around to each room is singing or just playing some music um, and singing at the same time as well. So yeah, again, any sounds, cause you're putting your intentions. This is always what it comes down to is basically your intentions of what, you know, you want to achieve when you're carrying out any sort of rituals or spells or anything like that. You've always got to put your intentions and what you want to happen. So obviously if you're cleansing a home, you just want love, light and positivity in your home. You don't want any negative energies anything that's just going to um, affect you sort of mentally and physically you just as I say you just concentrate on that bright white light and that love and everything good that you want entering into your home everything that's positive that's what you want in your home and uh, hopefully you can lead a happy life well as happy as you can be <laughs> life's tough sometimes but um yeah so as i say that's um 
that's something I'm going to use. I'm going to be definitely using uh, bells. So I don't want to use smoke from smudging because I've obviously I've got my snakes and it will possibly cause a respiratory infection. Anything like that, they're quite sensitive to. And because they're sort of in an enclosed space, it's just if the smoke gets too much, you know, there's nowhere for them to go for any sort of fresh air. I'm just going to say have the windows open you know if you do do stuff like that but as i say if you've got pets i wouldn't advise wafting white sage smoke everywhere uh, as i say it can affect their breathing and all the rest of it so yeah i won't be using that and also i won't be using water because we've got you know a lot of electricals everywhere yet again when you keep snakes you've got to have heat mats everything electrical is nearby so i just think sound is definitely going to be the best way forward so once i've gone around ringing the bells i think i might just you know place crystals in certain areas and um yeah and just sort of as i say just invite all the positive energy in and just get rid of all the negative and uh yeah so I just I do like to err on the side of caution and uh, I do as I say just want to keep things as bright and happy as they can be life is difficult so I just kind of want to you know at least within my home to be like a sacred sanctuary and to be my place where I feel safe and protected and I just don't want any negativity in my life so I think everyone's had enough of that so <laughs> and I certainly have in my lifetime so they're just a few ways that you can cleanse your your home or your space that you're using I sort of give you a guide of information that I've found and things that I've learned over the years and stuff but you know you can adapt it and make it your own um you know I always do nowadays I I will get something and I'll change it and sort of make it my own you can sort of have a spell and follow it like to the word but I like to maybe change up the words a bit or change up uh, some of the herbs or the crystals that might be used um, within that particular spell for example so um, yeah you've just got to make it your own and the most important thing is having positive and good intentions uh, you know not everyone is like me and likes to you know just constantly work in the light I know that there's darker sides to things and you know there's people that do that and that's up to them but for me I just like to sort of live in the light as it were so <laughs> anyway I'm going to stop gabbing on now so I do hope that you've got something out of this video and you have enjoyed it and if you have then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer but for now from myself it is goodbye and i'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching